Good morning, my sweethearts. Today is Sunday, and I just listened to the most amazing sermon, and I want to share that with you. And the name of the sermon was entitled, Overcoming the Fear of Being Hurt. When you've been hurt numerous times, you may have developed a fear of being hurt again, and you have put up walls to protect yourself. You no longer want to let other people in. I have to be honest with you. If you're going to have any type of relationship with people, you are going to get hurt and be let down sometimes. Even if you have children, you will get hurt by them also. Unfortunately, that's a part of the human existence and the human condition. That's why we need Jesus, our healer. As long as you know how to go to your healer and receive his healing power, you will bounce back. A lot of people don't want to get involved with others because they have a fear of being taken advantage of. You need to know that if you do get hurt, you will recover as long as you stay close to your shepherd, Jesus Christ. Jesus is our savior and he will restore you. Jesus can heal us everywhere we hurt. When you turn your life over to God and Jesus Christ, and you remember what Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, they tell us, and we are promised this, not to worry or we're not to be afraid because Jesus will make us strong and he will always help and support us. When you keep that in mind and you have trust and confidence in that, then you can overcome all of the fear of being hurt. So I'd like for you to get back on your horse and get out there and make yourself some friends. And if you're looking for a marriage partner, don't forget what God puts together, let no one pull apart. So before choosing your partner, go to God in prayer and pray fervently. Prayer is nothing more than a sincere, heartfelt conversation with your father. So go to your heavenly father, pray about the matter and leave it in his hands. I want you to have a great day. I'm looking forward to my Christian meeting because right now I'm hearing the, I'm, I'm listening to my sermon and this is a sermon that came right on time for me. I'm right back on my horse and I'm going out there to make some new friends. Have an amazing day.